Blend it, blend it just a little bit and roll the dice now. Show your liking it and play it. Hmm? I was gonna try to mend the door. And then oh, I realized. Maybe. Ting! But then I realized I don't, I don't have the spell. <laughs> roll your dice to see whether or not you break the door or make it even better. That's a nine. Nine? Alright, so you. you Ting the door and the wood begins to shrink. Ting. <laughs> yeah. That's seventeen. Mm-hmm. Keeps going. Ting. One more time. Yes. Two. Two. You're all good. <laughs> so. He, yeah. She. You see. You see. Rouge produce this golden hammer and she. Clunk, 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 and every time she hits it, the wood begins to shrink. And you see before you, after the third strike, a perfect constructed wooden door of dwarven design. Hmm. Check the hand. Well, that uh, kind of it is not a bit locked. too good to be true. Yeah, it does, it does break things sometimes. Open the door a smidge and have a peek. Uh, <laughs> the door gives way, revealing a low chamber of dressed stone. This chamber is filled with what appears to be rotten food, barrels of salted meat gone bad, sacks of flour or grain covered in russet cult mold, uh, tons of cider turned to vinegar. Two open archways uh, in the east wall leads to similar, uh, leads to a similar room and two more openings dimly visible beyond. Uh, and the floor just past the first gleams wetly. Holy gods, what's that smell? It's disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration point for this campaign for that joke. <laughs> so you get a free re-roll that you can use at any time, um, or if you if you choose, you can give that re-roll to any of the other players. Oh. <sighs> Nick does not understand. 